Praise Jesus. Praise, praise Jesus, God, everybody. Praise God. Yes, I have. Wow, this is my prayer partner. We've been praying uh, for several years now. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Yes. So three years or so. Three, yes, three years we've been praying. Years. She's yeah. a living testimony for me because I went to one of her revivals. This is Pastor Edith Smalley from Becoming uh, Christ Like Worship Center. I came to one of her revivals and it was awesome. And at the revival, she asked me, what do you want God to do for you? And I said, I want the highest level of spiritual gifts. Did I say that? Uh -huh. And she said, boom, you got it. Mm. And so, you know, from that point on, it was a journey. Um, you, you know, of course, advising Prophet T.B. Joshua, advising the other uh, mighty prophets. And I was prophesied that their anointings fell on me. And, and Jesus came to me in a vision. So... She's a living testimony about where someone who's just hungry for Jesus, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. someone made a request, That's right. a spiritual request, and now, you know, she's um, she's giving a testimony about our healing conference that we had, uh, the last service last night, Augusta for Jesus, and we're in Augusta, Georgia, um, so Pastor Smollett, can you just kind of tell us like what happened uh, the last night of the conference, and, and first time I prayed for you when I was praying for my granddaddy. My, um, this is my hometown. Mm -hmm. I was praying for my grandfather, Granddaddy Lawson, and she came over to see me. And this is how the conference kind of actually came about. Yes, yes. Well, you know, you, he called me and um, said, Pastor Small, I'm in town. I'm at my grandfather's house. And I said, wow. I said, where's that? So he takes me the address. And then when I got over there, praise God, we greeted one another. I greeted his family. Amen. We got, I got to know his family. Amen. Nice people. Amen. Full of the Holy Spirit they are. Amen. And um, so before, when I got ready to go, he said, okay, let me pray for you. So when he prayed for me, <laughs> bless God, amen, I needed the strength. And I guess he didn't know, but God knows. He knew that I needed the strength. So while he was holding, holding my hand and, and, I, and we was praying and I was praying and I was saying thank you, Jesus. And I was feeling such a relief in my spirit, man. It was like my spirit, man, was just like being revived. It was my spirit, man, being strengthened. Mm -hmm. and, and I needed that, you know, because more and more we minister to other people, we need to be ministered to, too. And as we give out, we need something coming in. So, mm -hmm. bless God, amen, his prayers, praying for me, amen, gave me that strength within, and I was able to go on. Mm -hmm. And speaking of last night, amen, when you when God was using you, when God was using I was I was seeing that God was answering my prayers from when, from from when I first started this ministry here about how I want to see the glory of God. I told God when I, st when I start a ministry, I don't want just any kind of ministry. I said, God, because there's so many preachers out there. I said, God, I don't want to just be, you know, the norm. I want to be the at norm. You know, God, you want me to go forth then. You must be going to use me in a mighty way because everybody's preaching. Everybody got churches up here. You know, every, every pastor is doing the same thing. God, I don't want to be doing the same thing. I want to be doing what you want me to do. I want to be walking in the signs and miracles. I want to be, you know, laying hands on the sick. I want to be laying hands. I want to be casting out. I want to do the greater works because God, you say we should do greater work. So I said, God, if you calling me, that means I'm going to do greater works. Mm. And I thank God, amen, praise God. Through last night, I see where God is doing greater works in, in the ministry. And besides that, he, um, on the, the other church that we moved from, we was doing greater works over there, amen. So the, the, the other man of God, um, um, Pastor Mayfield, amen, he came in and just, 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 um, put a damper on everything that God was already doing in the service, let me know that I was walking in the realm that he wanted me to walk in. Amen. And then, then when he laid hands on me, it just like, amen, took us, you know, in well, that I level know. that we need to go. And then when you came into, when you came into our life, amen, praise God, it just like the, 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 the move of God was just on. It was just on. So he came in just in time when a fire got, mm. got turned up. Mm. Amen. Praise God. So when we moved over here and when you came last night, it's just like God was showing me he's still here. He's still moving. He's still in the midst. He still meet us here. And he do. The presence of God is always here. I thank God. Even if we're not having a revival, it's like we're having a revival every Sunday. Mm. <laughs> the presence of God on. here every Sunday. You know, he just follows us here. Amen. And we have a high time. Amen. In the Lord here every Sunday, Amen. I mean, Wednesday sometimes, you know, we have prayer here all the time on Wednesdays, and and God just meet us here on Wednesdays and Tuesdays. You know, we we fast, Amen. If you ever in Augusta, Georgia, <laughs> I recommend, of course, becoming Christ like Worship Center, Pastor Edith Smalley. You have to come here because what I when I saw her, the first thing I saw was she got uh, elevated in the spirit by being on her knees in prayer, prayer. So she's a true woman of God, and, and she's also a carrier of the glory as well. So, 
I thank God for you, Pastor Small. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, praise but God. But last so, night, last oh, night when I went home. about last night. Last night when I went, <laughs> last night when I went home, it was just like it was just like God just recharged me again. And I woke up this morning saying, God, you know, you know, I gotta walk in that place. It's like He took okay. us to took the church to another yeah. another place. And it's like yeah, I gotta really yeah. walk in it now, you know, yeah, because I'm I'm where I want to be in God, you know, when it comes to, you know, him working with me with signs and wonders, you know. Praise God. And then I'm not going down on them. I'm no, not going back. No, you're not going down. No, you're not going down. When it comes out to the level no. of God, we're on a jet and we're flying high and high and high. Thank we're on that Jesus. jet now. Amen. And when that jet, that's you know, when the jet is up there, you can hardly see the jet because he's way up there. Praise God. And that's the, I said that's where God got us in ministry at. We're way up there. Amen. And we're not coming down. We're, we're doing a great work in God and we're not coming down. Amen. God is doing awesome things in here. He's doing awesome I, things. I do. He's done awesome things in you. And I thank God for you. Amen. <clears throat> And I thank God for the ministry of Becoming Christ Like Worship Center because when he first gave me the name, when he gave me the name of Becoming so Christ Like Worship Center, I like it. it's because the last day, the last day move, you got to be like Christ. Yeah. You got to walk like him. You got to talk like him. You got to do signs and wonders like him. You got to move in the spirit and the demonstration like him. Power, Amen. Yeah. Um, Gillian, Gillian, I think it was, he said, if God be God, we'll be all the, we'll be all the miracles. You know, so if God be God, why ain't he manifesting in the church? God be God. Why we got to go to the doctors to get healed when you're supposed to be getting healed in the church? It's true. <laughs> you know, so, know. so know. I'm talking a lot because I'm excited. I'm excited I know, I know, I know. and I'm happy. <laughs> Praise Jesus, praise Jesus. I know, I know. I'm happy I know. in Jesus. He keeps me that way. This is me. 24 hours, even at home. I, I'm happy does. in Jesus. She is, she is. She, I know, I know. It's, it's true. I know because, you know, even my mom, you know, last night, I got her a little bit because. I prayed for the lady. I told her to take off the oxygen. Mm -hmm. I said, "Mom, you can't tell her to put it back the oxygen on." Yeah. <laughs> All right, now because she was healed. She was healed. How can you tell her to put the oxygen back on? Yeah. It's already healed. She was healed. I thank God yeah. for that. I <laughs> so, thank God for shout that. Shout out to my mom. Love you, mama. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> As for me and this church, we're, do, we're doing the Book of Acts. Yes. We're standing before God and doing the yes. signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. That's what I was telling the lady last night. I said I was an actor in Hollywood. Now I'm an actor in the Book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Yes, you so. too. That's God. That's God. That's the last move. The last move is the Book of Acts. Amen. Amen. When well, signs and moment. wonders is done. Amen. Amen. I love you, Pastor Mama. Love you too. Bless Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get one more testimony from Augusta uh, for Jesus Healing Conference, and um, so. You just, just reach your hand towards the camera, Pastor Smalley, and uh, all the ministers that need to be revived, when I pray for you, give them revived. Pray for them so they'll be revived. In strength. the name of Jesus, I pray strength to your spirit, strength to your innermost being. I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll never be the same. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will touch you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I pray that God will lead, God, and direct you. In the mighty name of Jesus, and you'll never be the same. In Jesus' name, and all your needs are met now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yay. Praise Jesus. We'll be right back. 